Good morning, grade 10 students. I am teacher Joshua. How are you today? Are you doing well? That is good. So let's start our day with a big smile. So with me are teacher Pearl, teacher Marge, teacher Isa, and teacher Rachel. And now, let's have a prayer first. Let's put ourselves in the Holy Presence of God, as we all say, in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear loving Father who is in heaven, as a class, we come before you at this hour, asking for your presence to be with us. Thank you for all who have come to attend this class. Bless and help us to understand what we need to know today. Be with us now and forever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. So I'll introduce you first to our classroom rules from the word health. So H stands for have respect to your teachers and classmates. And E also stands for encourage each other in class. And A, avoid posting or sharing inappropriate materials on the chat box. And L, let yourself be prepared all the time. And T, Talk if you are told to do so. And lastly, H means have fun. So once again for this week, I would like to ask Jimin, the secretary of the class, to comment down on the chat box that is absent 10 minutes after the beginning of our lesson. Because I would like to see the names that are not present during our lessons for today. Okay, so many are present for today's class. So first, we will have an activity that can make your body feel alive since it's early in the morning and still our mind and body are still sleepy. So our first activity is named Video Sounds Familiar. So Video Sounds Familiar class, do you have any idea what our activity is? Okay, correct that I will let you watch a video, but don't you worry class because this video is related to our topic for today. And after you watch a video, I will ask questions so you better observe it clearly what happened on the video. So let us now watch the video class. question is, what did you feel after watching the video? Josh has raised his hand, so please unmute yourself. Thank you for that, Josh. So Josh felt sad about the situation of the student that is having a hard time, and somehow, Josh can relate to the situation on the video. Right now, for the next question, what factors do you believe are causing him to act that way? May I request Eloise to share your idea? Okay, very good Eloise. Based in Eloise, the student is suffering because of academic pressure. He was overwhelmed by the schoolwork, deadlines, and examinations. The student felt pressured about how to manage his time on his responsibilities as a student and his interpersonal relationships. And for the last question, do you think he needs help? Why? I see June wants to answer. Great! June said that he needs help because it might affect his daily routines and activities. He needs further assistance in addressing this kind of concerns. Indeed, your answers are all correct, class. The student needs further help in addressing his situation. And for today, our lesson is about World Health Organization or WHO Special Initiative for Mental Health and you are expected to recognize the nature and background of WHO Special Initiative for Mental Health, explain the positive impacts of WHO Special Initiative for Mental Health towards the society through an interactive discussion, and lastly, analyze the WHO Special Initiative for Mental Health through an oral recitation. Before we proceed to our main discussion, let us first have the I Hear You, I Feel You activity. See a new morning, grade 10 students. 
for our activity number two entitled I hear you, I feel you, it will let you recognize the nature and background of World Health Organization's special initiative for mental health. I'll be discussing its nature and background. Please listen attentively and you may take down notes because questions will follow. So what is World Health Organization's special initiative for mental health? Mental, neurological, and substance use disorders account for more than 10% of the global disease burden. The loss of productivity resulting from depression and anxiety, two of the most common mental disorders, cost the global economy one trillion US dollar each year. In low and middle income countries, more than 75% of people with mental disorders receive no treatment at all for their disorder. This is why in 2018, the World Health Organization Director General, Dr. Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus, identified mental health as an area for which action should be accelerated. The result was the establishment of the World Health Organization's Special Initiative for Mental Health covering the five-year period from 2019 to 2023. The goal of the initiative is that 100 million more people have access to quality and affordable mental health care by 2023. The initiative is to be implemented in 12 countries. Seven have already been identified. They are Bangladesh, Jordan, Nepal, Paraguay, our own country, the Philippines, Ukraine, and Zimbabwe. Each country has already undertaken an initial assessment to get a broad picture of the mental health needs, available services, opportunities, and main challenges for scale up. The strategies being developed are dependent on the results of the initial assessments. They are likely to include developing or improving mental health policy, and scaling up quality services in both community-based general health settings and specialist settings. So we are done discussing the nature and background of World Health Organization's Special Initiative for Mental Health. Let me ask you these questions. First, what is the aim of the World Health Organization's Special Initiative for Mental Health? Yes, Murphy? Very good answer, Murphy. The Special Initiative for Mental Health aims to ensure access to quality and affordable care for mental health conditions for 100 million more people by 2023, which respects people's human rights and reaches those most in need of services and support. For the second question, how can we apply the World Health Organization's Special Initiative for Mental Health to yourself? Yes, Nicholson? Indeed, you're right, Nicholson. By knowing this initiative, we can grasp knowledge and how we should value our mental health. We can apply this initiative to our own mental health by following the suggested mental health guidance and principles. By this, Mental health is valued the same as physical health. In 2018, the World Health Organization's Director General identified mental health for accelerated implementation within World Health Organization's work. This World Health Organization's Special Initiative for Mental Health seeks to ensure universal health coverage involving access to quality and affordable care for mental health conditions in 12 countries to 100 million more people. Therefore, mental health is as vital as physical health. People should be aware of this and should be responsible with their own body. Mental and physical health is inextricably linked. To dig deeper with your understanding from the discussion, questions will follow. So let's continue with our activity number three entitled, Sharing is Caring. It will let you analyze the World Health Organization's special initiative for mental health through oral participation or recitation. 
I will choose two students to answer the following questions about the World Health Organization's special initiative for mental health. The first question is, why is mental health a serious issue? Yes, Mia. What an impactful answer it is, Mia. Mental health is a serious issue because mental illness is a leading cause of disability. Untreated mental illness can cause severe emotional, behavioral, and physical health problems. Complications sometimes linked to mental illness include unhappiness and decreased enjoyment of life. For the second question, why do we need to know about this World Health Organization's special initiative for mental health? Yes, Mikaela? Awesome answer, Mikaela. We need to know this initiative to have self-learning and to spread awareness to everyone, especially that we are facing a pandemic and we are also having online classes that I believe really triggers our mental health. World Health Organization's Special Initiative for Mental Health will advance policies, advocacy, and human rights and scale up quality interventions and services for people with mental health conditions, including substance use and neurological disorders. Consequently, keeping our minds healthy is what this initiative entails. Since we already learned about the nature and background of the World Health Organization's Special Initiative for Mental Health, let's find out its significance, positive impacts, Philippine context, and the other six countries as examples that implement this global health initiative. All right, so before we'll proceed to our discussion proper, let us first have an energy check and also to ensure that you are still listening, okay? All right, so when I say pop, you will say corn. Again, when I say pop, you will say corn. Are you ready? Okay. Pop. 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 Very good, my grade 10 students. I can really assure that you are actively listening. So, let us proceed. Mental health issue is very rampant nowadays, especially in these trying times of pandemic. It affects what the person feel and how they think and behave. Most of the people nowadays are more conscious with maintaining their physical looks and tend to forget their mental state. So that is why the World Health Organization's Special Initiative for Mental Health was created. And now that you have already learned about the nature and background of the World Health Organization's Special Initiative for Mental Health, let us find out its significance and positive impacts. The Special Initiative is just the latest global action the World Health Organization has taken to integrate mental health into its non-communicable disease platform. Mental illnesses and non-communicable chronic diseases both contribute significantly to the global health care burden, and they frequently occur simultaneously. The initiative supports a multidisciplinary and nationally focused team to establish a national center for innovation in mental health care as a collaborative network across the globe. So here are some existing center network partners, but all of the network partners will have open membership to ensure that key institutions, existing national networks in mental health, and other relevant bodies are engaged in implementation and translation research activities. At this juncture, we will be tackling about the significance of World Health Organization Special Initiative for Mental Health. The first one is Lead on Research Initiative in collaboration with local stakeholders. So Global Mental Health incorporates research and practice of improving mental health for all people globally through collaborating with the local stakeholders. So who are these stakeholders, teacher? So these stakeholders include patients, caregivers, 
family members, providers, advocacy organizations, and policy makers. The next one will be it provide research training in population and epidemiology studies. So training programs with local or global mental health instructional strategies collaborate research to enhance experience with diverse population. And these training programs covers the topic such as epidemiology studies. So it is the science of dealing with the spread and control of illnesses in populations. Next one is create training opportunities in mental health for medical residents and graduate students. So medical students and graduates also experience other forms of distress such as intense pressure, poor quality of life, exhaustion, and fatigue. Thus, the training opportunities were provided not just to help other people, but also to help maintain their own mental health. Next one is raise awareness and education about mental health stigma in the population. So awareness eliminates stigma for the mentally ill people. So when we say stigma, it refers to the opinions and thoughts of the society where people's minds are closed and refuse to accept people who are different. So that is why the World Health Organization Special Initiative for Mental Health is important because it is a way to reduce the stigma. The last significance will be develop family-oriented collaborative care models and training in mental health and psychiatry. So, parents who have a mental condition are more likely to have negative long-term effects for their children. However, early intervention to meet their needs can significantly improve their ability to adjust and reduce the negative outcomes. And now, let us proceed to the positive impacts of the World Health Organization Special Initiative for Mental Health. The first one is, it recognizes the essential role of mental health for the people. So it has never been more important than now to recognize that mental health is an essential component to one's overall health and well-being, and that mental illnesses are common and treatable. The next one, is it engages and develops the next generation of mental health research leaders. So the new generation is growing up with increased stress and anxiety. Thus, the next generation should be fully engaged with other health professionals and assume leadership ro roles in redesigning care. So to ensure that its members are well prepared the trainings are provided to equip the mental health research leaders for the next generation. Next one is it fosters innovative multidisciplinary approaches to mental health through various ranges of stakeholders with primary experience and were experts in defining the issues. So the multidisciplinary team is a great way to organize and coordinate with health and care services in order to cater the needs of people who need special treatment. So using the experience of a variety of professionals, the teams collaborate to assess, to plan, and to manage care. Improved care experience and health system redesign through more effective and innovative model of care. So the innovative approaches have resulting to decreasing hospital readmissions, improved patient safety, satisfaction, and also engagement, as well as contributing to other positive outcomes. The next one is improved services for people with mental health problems and psychosocial disabilities worldwide. So mental health is a human right. With improved services and professional health from mental health services, many struggling people can enjoy an improved quality of life. The number, numerous organizations can assist in the planning of a community event, locating mental health experts and providing treatment and assistance for mental health disorders. 
Next one is it provides evidence for solutions and improves health outcomes and outlooks for people with mental illnesses. So the World Health Organization recognized mental health as an area which needs immediate action. So as a result, the World Health Organization Mental Health Special Initiative was created for the mentally ill people to have access to quality and affordable mental health care. Good day, my grade 10 students. Now that you are aware about the significance and positive impacts of WHO Special Initiative for Mental Health, we will now learn its status in the Philippine context. As we all know that Philippines is one of the countries in Southeast Asia that consists of a high number of mental illnesses and as a solution to the problem, the Philippines developed a strategy for the implementation of WHO Special Initiative for Mental Health through online consultations, which included more than 100 stakeholders from government and non-government groups. Areas prioritized included, first, creating sustainable mental health governance and accountability structures. Successful integration and effective management of sustainability at a particular country requires having a committed leadership, clear direction, and strategic influence, and this won't happen if there is no strong government structure. Second, is increasing access to quality services. Equity of access to health services is central to universal health coverage particularly for the most vulnerable and marginalized people in our society. WHO works with other countries to identify the barriers and to provide evidence-based solutions to progressively expand access while ensuring the highest possibility quality of care. The last one, strengthening mental health research and information systems. Strengthening the mental health Research and information systems saves lives, relieves significant distress, and improves quality of life. It also benefits the society by generating social and economic benefits that contribute to thriving communities built upon resilience. The Philippines is moving quickly to implement its newly developed strategy. Having already carried out a mental health investment case study, it is now beginning implementation of image gap training and quality rights as part of pre-service training of general health care workers and mental health. Before we proceed, let's check your energy. When I say crystal, you say clear. Crystal? 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 Okay, I can assure that you are still attentively listening to our discussion. Let's now proceed with the other six countries that implement the WHO Special Initiative for Mental Health. First country is Bangladesh. So Bangladesh finalized its National Mental Health Strategic Plan in 2020 and began implementation. Despite the fact that they had faced multiple challenges since WHO Special Initiative for Mental Health was launched over a year ago, including high rates of COVID-19, monsoon rains, and flooding, WHO is working with the Ministry of Health to identify elements of the newly developed plan. The WHO Special Initiative for Mental Health can support and complement to ensure its effective rollout. The next country is Jordan. In Jordan, WHO Special Initiative for Mental Health is supporting the Ministry of Health to carry out a review of the current plan and facilitate multi-stakeholder consultations to develop its future plan. And this will allow for the WHO Special Initiative for Mental Health and the Ministry of Health to have a single, combined plan guiding mental health reform for the next five years. Next country is Paraguay. 
in Paraguay, the Ministry of Health was supported to develop a WHO special initiative for mental health strategy through online consultations, leveraging the existing community for mental health reform. This prioritized the following, strengthening mental health governance and leadership, increasing access to quality mental health services, improving training and management of human resources for mental health, promoting the participation of civil society in mental health reform, and improving research and monitoring and evaluation systems. Paraguay has now finalized its consultation process and is soon to begin implementing its plan in three of its rural areas. Next country is Ukraine. Ukraine hosted a WHO Special Initiative for Mental Health Multi-Stakeholder Strategy Development Workshop. The priority areas identified in the workshop are the same as the other country like Paraguay. They began implementation of its strategy with initial focus on integration of mental health. As they moved quickly, they focused into primary care and piloting multidisciplinary community-based mental health teams. The rich collaboration with other government and non-government organizations is facilitating fast-paced mental health reforms. Next country is Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe launched the Mental Health Strategic Plan in 2019. And in 2020, the Zimbabwe Special Health Initiative for Mental Health Strategic Framework was developed and launched on 21st July 2021. It brought together over 100 stakeholders to support the development of its strategy for WHO's Special Initiative for Mental Health. The implementation began in early 2021 with plans now in place to assemble national and district committees to facilitate coordinated action. Last country is in Nepal. So in February 2021, a situational assessment about Nepal's mental health needs and systems as well as country plan for actions under the special initiative is forthcoming. This program is continuously evolving them and is working with their mental health services to produce effective output to the community. Okay, we're then tackling the seven countries that implement WHO Special Initiative for Mental Health. Here are some questions, class. So, the first question is, in your opinion, how can WHO Special Initiative give positive impacts to the mental health of the people? Yes, JK, you can answer now. Great answer, JK. The WHO Special Initiative for Mental Health gave a positive impact to the people by helping them to be united in suppressing the cases of mental health issues that are rising every year. The last question is, What's the importance of ensuring the access to quality and affordable care for mental health conditions? Okay, I see Jacob raising his hand. You may now answer. Excellent answer, Jacob. It plays a vital role since all the people can guarantee the quality treatment and protection that they deserve for their mental health. WHO Special Initiatives for Mental Health supports the overall well-being of the individuals being involved globally. The significance of this initiative focuses more on the development of one's mental health in general. Thus, realizing the positive impact, especially in the Philippine context, makes it possible in ensuring the mental health of every individual worldwide. Since you have already learned the significance, positive impacts, and the Philippine context of WHO Special Initiative for Mental Health, 
Let's try to find out the importance of WHO's special initiative for mental health through sharing of thoughts. Hello, grade 10 students. Good day. This is Teacher Isa and our activity for today is called Think Before You Answer. You will be sharing your opinion about the importance and positive impacts of World Health Organization special initiatives for mental health by answering three questions. If you want to answer, just click your raise hand button, unmute yourself, and share your opinion. Did you get the instruction class? Great! So now, let's proceed. These are the three boxes and inside these boxes are the question that follows. What number do you want to open first? Great! Let's open box number one. The question is, how can World Health Organization Special Initiatives for Mental Health helps in developing our society? So I can see that Jason is raising his hand. Please answer now, Jason. Excellent answer, Jason. World Health Organization Special Initiatives for Mental Health allows the society to be aware and have access to quality health services that would lessen the case of mental health issues and enable people to be productive, which helps in the society's prog progress. Now class, what number do you want to open next? Let's go, let's open box number two. The question is, what possibilities would happen if World Health Organization Special Initiatives for Mental Health was implemented before? Okay, class, who wants to answer the question? Okay, Mark, unmute yourself now. Very good, Mark. There is a possibility that there are only few cases of people with mental health issue and also it is possible that mental health is not a big issue or problem nowadays since immediate and accurate services were provided to ensure the people's health and well-being thank you for that mark for the last number or for the last box class let's open it and read the question the question is how will you raise awareness about the positive impacts of World Health Organization special initiatives for mental health towards the society? Okay, I can see that Irene is raising her hand. Can you please unmute yourself, Irene, and share your thoughts? Thank you for that, Irene. I appreciate your answer. You can raise awareness about the positive impacts of World Health Organization special initiatives for mental health by educating the people in the society through seminars or symposiums that tackles a real-life scenario. Thank you for sharing your thoughts, class. Your answers are all perfect. Always remember, class, that World Health Organization's special initiatives for mental health is as important as your plans in achieving your goals. Being able to help in promoting this initiative can also create a coalition, not just to the people, but also to the society. Lastly, being able to know the function of World Health Organization Special Initiatives for Mental Health can make a difference. Engaging in an activity which strengthens the knowledge of the people would truly make a change. We must continue to be aware and get involved. As a youth, share your thoughts and ideas to make a better change to a healthier world. That would be all class. Once again, good day. For your assignment entitled, Be Informed, you will make an infographic based on your learnings about the World Health Organization's Special Initiative for Mental Health. You will submit your output in Google Classroom and you will be graded according to the given criteria. Before we'll end our class, we will leave a quote that states, the world is accepting the concept of universal health coverage. Mental health must be an integral part of universal health coverage or UHC. Nobody should be denied access to mental health care because he or she is poor 
or lives in a remote place by Dr. Tednos Adhanom Ghebreyesus, which he is the Director General of the World Health Organization. Everybody has a right to be mentally healthy. Everyone should be privileged with various mental health services. We live with circumstances every day and so we must overcome them with a healthy mind. No one should left behind. So lastly, this is Teacher Joshua, Teacher Pearl, and Teacher Mark, Teacher Risha, Teacher Isa. Thank you for listening everyone. Have a good day ahead.